What's wrong with Bootsy? Why Bootsy mad at me? Didn't I call gangster a rat based on paperwork? That's a fact, whack. So he mad at me because I called BG a rat because we got the paperwork? I, I get it. I, that's what's the, that's the craziest. This Bootsy's the same guy that wants to sue his brother for criminal and take him to this, and send his brother to jail, too. This nigga right here. <laughs> This nigga right here. Bootsy, no, you too light in the ass. You on that motherfucking incident, boy, I will beat the fuck out of you, Bootsy. You know, you know me a real, real light. Nigga, you weigh about 117 pounds, boy. I will beat the dog shit out of you, boy. I will catch you. Remember, this is whack you talking to. I'm everywhere y'all be, so remember, remember them words. I don't give a fuck about a red carpet. I don't give a fuck about getting bad from an event. When I see you, nigga, when I see you, don't smile. I'm telling you right now, nigga, you been warned. Dummy, you jumped out the window for a rat. I wouldn't give a fuck who that nigga is to you. You went on Vlad, did 19 interviews about the mother, uh, you know, Terrence Williams. About him being a rat because of the paperwork. Nigga, the paperwork say BG a rat. Not me, nigga. These niggas be mad, bro, because I don't select the politics. No, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. The paperwork come out, nigga. That's what it is. Weird as a motherfucker. Terrence Gangster Williams, he's a rat. Okay, here go the paperwork. BG, tell it on the motherfucker. Take it to stand, tell it. But what the fuck is the problem? What you bad at me for? You bad at BG? Niggas is mad at the nigga that exposed it, but not mad at the nigga that did it. This shit is crazy. I'm telling you right now, nigga, you got my number, Boosie. I don't give a fuck about no nigga music. When I see you, I'm going to beat your ass. Straight up, nigga, be ready. I hope both BG, the rat man, was, was worth it. When I see you, we crashing, nigga. That's a fact. Whatever with you is what it is. Let me catch your ass. You better watch them books, nigga. I will book your ass somewhere, boy, and violate you, nigga. These little niggas be talking. This little nigga, I swear, he 118 pounds, bro. Niggas like this, I just slapped the fuck out of niggas like this, bro. That's too hard. Well. Real. No, niggas is mad. Where would on call BG a rat? Nigga, the paperwork say he a rat. What the fuck is the problem? Why you mad at me? Is you mad at the nigga that ratted? These niggas is wild, boy. I already off stuff. Wild as fuck. He ain't mad at the paperwork. He mad at the fact that you said something about the paperwork. This guy's fuck crazy. Those was the words of Mr. Wack 100 himself as he responds to Labusi. Listen, Labusi called him a clown to say it was Wack. Because that Wack, you a clown. Because Wack 100... Uh, went off on BG saying that BG was a snitch. Now, there's paperwork that's surfacing the web from 1090 Jake. If you don't know who 1090 Jake is, 1090 Jake is a fellow YouTuber. 1090 Jake, uh, his YouTube channel got known for exposing rappers and putting their paperwork out when they have uh, agreed to testify or took the stand against someone in, in whatever case it was in. Now, he put uh, some paperwork out about BG in Contrail, Washington. Um, Contrail, Washington is currently still doing time. Uh, BG, as we all know, is out. If you don't know who BG is, I'm sure you do. BG is a fellow cash money rapper. He had one and done 12 years, and now he's home. Well, 1090 Jake got paperwork showing that BG was subpoenaed to take the stand and BG took the stand and said that it was not mine, it was his, um, Contrail Washington. Now, I got a question for all of you viewers out there, all of you that's in the streets. I done played in the streets myself. I know what it means to take the stand. I also know what a subpoena means. But my question to everyone, and please put your answer in the comment section. I'm gonna give you a brief scenario of this. If me and you in the car, my name J J1, if me and you in the car, we get pulled over with some stuff in the car. If I tell you, hey, buddy, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to agree to the charges. You know what I'm saying? You try to get yourself a lower sentence. 
I get up there and say, hey, it's mine, because Contrell confessed to the stuff being his. And you get up there and say, hey, that belongs to J1. You know what I mean? Do you call yourself a snitch if I agree to take the charges? You know what I mean? Do you call yourself a snitch if I agree to take the charges and tell you to say, hey, it's mine, blah, that's quasi, because you can clearly see Contrell Williams confessed to the charges. He said it was his. BG said, oh, no, it's not mine. That's Contrell Williams. You know what I mean? Washington, I'm sorry. Uh, is, this, is, that, is that still considered snitching? Because don't nobody know what the conversation was in the car when um, Con uh, Contrell Washington and BG was in the car and they got pulled over. Nobody knows what he told him. Uh, BG could have offered Contrell some money. Hey, buddy, I'll give you X amount of dollars to take this charge. If I take it, if I get... Uh, convicted of it, they're going to give me the book. They're going to throw the book at me. And it seems like that's what uh, what happened, you know what I mean? And all this is alleged because I wasn't in the car either. But the scenario I gave you is based on what I'm getting off the internet and that's all you can go on. Now, um, Wack 100 took at Labusi and he said he's going to beat Labusi butt when he catch him, you know what I mean? Now, you know, uh, if BG snitched, he's a snitch, and the snitch is all he can be named as a snitch. I don't do the selective politicking either. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't uh, choose to, uh, to, to tear this person down as being a snitch, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sweep this person up under the rug for being a snitch because if you all remember, he got a boosie got on Vlad 100, Vlad uh, TV, I'm sorry, and called Terrence Gangster Williams a snitch. Because it's paperwork alleged that Terrence against the Williams, which is baby uh, Birdman Stoner brother. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, and you can go back to the viral moment of Boosie going off on one of his good friends, T.I. Uh, you know, a fellow Atlanta rapper, King of the South, right? Boosie, if he a rat, he a rat. If he told, he a rat. You know what I mean? Boosie is the snitch police. But... Boosie and BG is friends and have had a long-standing friendship and Boosie values BG friendship. They're both from Louisiana. Listen, man, Boosie uh, chose to turn a, a blind eye to BG. Paperwork, he chose to turn a blind eye to BG being a snitch, but he did not turn a blind eye to T.I. and Gangsta Williams or Rollo. You remember he went off on Rollo, called Rollo a snitch. Boosie is the snitch police. You know what I mean? If you can be convicted of a, of a snitching crime, <clears throat> Boosie is the guy that's going to convict you. You know what I mean? He's the judge and the jury, right? But he turned a blind eye to BG. And if BG uh, snitched and if Contrail Washington comes out and say, yes, he snitched, I took the charges, but he did old hole up his end of the bargain, then the legendary New Orleans rapper BG is a snitch. You feel what I'm saying? But for us who's not living by the street code, we out here, we blue collar, we working people. You understand? We don't care nothing about none of that. Then BG just BG because it has nothing to do with our lives. You feel what I'm saying? But hey, y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this. I have more to come. I'm waiting on Boosie to come with a video response back to WAC 100 as WAC 100 has said he's going to whoop little Boosie But and I want to see if WAC 100 is going to do just that. Hopefully, us in the world, that's just innocent bystanders that's just watching, don't get caught up in all the street talk and all the street stuff, man. Listen, because, um, you know, this could end badly. Hopefully, it don't, but it could end badly for, for uh, you know, for somebody in this party. BG just got out, the man trying to get him a little bit of money. I ain't mad at him. What he did 12 years ago, it done got nothing to do with me. As we see, Contrell actually took the charges and said it was his. BG, BG got on the stand as he was subpoenaed to do so and said it was his. So, I mean, y'all answer the question. You know what I mean? The scenario I gave you, would that be considered snitching? Or did, you know, uh, BG, BG, uh, he still get the I never snitched on anybody title. You know what I mean? But until the next time, man, y'all be safe, stay blessed, and I catch you on the flip side. Peace.